All right, guys, I'm going to explain to you how to make a Mad Lib game in Python today. Um, so here I am on uh, REPL, and we're going to go ahead and create a new REPL, choose Python, and I'm going to change the name to Mad Lib because that makes sense. So the first step you're going to want to do is think of a story. Your story can be practically anything you want, as long as it's school appropriate. You could retell an existing story, you know, a, retell a movie or something that you know. You could retell a nursery rhyme or a fairy tale. You can make up a story. You could tell a how-to, like it could be a how-to make peanut butter and jelly. It doesn't really matter. I, I want it to have at least, at the barest minimum, six good sentences. Uh, more is better, but it has to be in your own writing, even if it's a retelling of a story. So even if you're doing the trials of Superman, it still needs to be your own writing about that story. Okay, go ahead and go on Google Docs or whatever word editing app you want to use to do that, and it'll help you, you know, with capitalization and spelling and all that. So once you have that, copy it, highlight it, press Control C, and come back to Replit. I'm going to come down a couple of lines and I'm going to make a variable. I'm going to name my variable story because that makes sense to me. And I'm going to say story equals lowercase f and this f is going to tell Python that we're going to be inserting variables into our story. Now I'm going to type three double quotes. Three double quotes are going to allow me to have a multi-line uh, data type called a string, which is our story. Be careful, Replit's going to try to add spaces or it's going to try to add extra quotes. So now I'm going to go down a line because, I don't know, it makes sense to me. And I'm going to paste in my story. So I didn't write this story. It's Little Red Riding Hood. I just copied it off the internet. I know. I'm a bad teacher. At the bottom of the story, I'm going to write three more double quotes. Get rid of the fourth one that Replit puts in. No spaces in between. And if I run it, nothing should happen. And that's perfect. So now I'm going to just print my story. So I'm going to go down a couple of lines all the way to the left. I'm going to write print, make sure it's a lowercase p, parenthesis, story. And now when I run it, it should print the story. Great. So at this time, we're going to think about what we want to replace in the story. Maybe I'll change the word beautiful to be an adjective. I'm going to highlight beautiful. I'm going to type a curly brace. And Replit will surround it on both sides with a curly brace. And since it's highlighted, I can just start typing now. Adjective. Uh, I probably have more than one, so I'm going to uh, type adjective one. And then I'm going to copy. Oops. Now I'm going to copy that. I like to copy it rather than retype it, partly because I'm lazy, but partly because then if I spelled adjective wrong, it doesn't really matter. It'll still run and that's important to me. So I'm going to type control V and paste that in there. Adjective equals and now I'm going to type input because I want to get them to um, you know, input their answer and I could use I could use this if I wanted to. Um, parenthesis quote and now since it's an adjective I'll type that. And then after that I'm going to type a space a greater than sign and another space because I, I just like the way that looks. And I'm going to make this a little bigger so it looks better. In fact, I'm going to make this bigger too. Okay, so if I run this now, it asks me to type an adjective and this is going to replace beautiful. I don't know. I can write smelly. And when I press enter, it has replaced beautiful right here with smelly. Cool. So I'm just going to go through this story now and replace different things with, you know, the opportunity for new funny words, like you do for a uh, Mad Lib. So here's another trick that I think is pretty cool. So Wolf happens to be in the story quite a few times, and I might miss it. So rather than look for every instance of Wolf, I'm going to go through, I'm going to highlight this, copy it, and now I'm going to press Control and the letter H. And for here, it's going to bring up find and replace. It already pre-filled that with wolf, and I'm going to replace that with curly brace animal. And that will, uh, and then I can choose 
replace all right here and now everywhere it said wolf it has replaced it with animal great so now I can copy that and get rid of this and I can paste animal equals and I'm gonna go ahead and copy this because it's easy so control C B So I want to do this for several things. I'm going to do it for Little Red Riding Hood as well. So Control H and Control C. And I'll say person. Oops, in curly braces. So everywhere it said Little Red Riding Hood, now it says person, I hope. I'm just going to double check. Yeah, that looks right. Okay, great. So I accept that. And I'll do one more. So you want to do this for, let's see, to get full credit, you're going to want to make a story that has a minimum of six good sentences. And you're going to want to change, uh, let's say, a minimum of six things. I think that's a pretty easy assignment at that point. I think you get the, the point of it once you do it. So so there you go. Uh-oh, little red. <laughs> We gotta change that too. So I'm gonna let me do that over here. So say Control H, and I'm gonna look for Little Red. Oh yeah, see that's an error several times. So I'm just gonna leave that as Person because. So you, you gotta play it and and try it to find. Yeah, make sure that you do it correctly. Make sure you get all the little instances of it. But once you're done, it's a pretty fun and interesting thing. It's kind of cool. So there you go. There's my Mad Lib. Um, take your time. Try to enjoy it. Like I said, do more than that. I just kind of got you started with it. And um, thanks.